I'm going to put some line on some brand new Dakota 500s. And it's always nice to have a spooling machine. This one that I have is called a Daiichi Seiko. I have several videos about it that, oh damn, that um, I'm sure nobody's ever seen. Uh, as usual with most of my videos, nobody's ever seen because YouTube hates me and the viewers, whatever viewers I have, no one gives it a thumbs up, so guess what? Or a like, as the, as the kiddies say today. Um, no one ever gives it a like, so these videos never get seen by the public. I mean, when you get, say, 20 views, let's say you get, or, uh, 200 views and you get 10 thumbs ups, YouTube doesn't give two shits. In a rare moment here, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to put some mono backing. Not that you have to, and I rarely do it. But this is some actual black nylon line. It's not monofilament. It's black nylon I got. All right. And that's how she goes. It gets all tangled up here on the spool. It's on the god dang reel. So what I'm going to have to do, since the spool's over here and the reel's over here, I can center it up a little bit with these adjustments underneath see about putting some line on here. How about that? I am setting up these for some summertime jetty float rigging. And I'm going to put this mono underneath here. Oh, damn it. I got the spool on backwards, of course, since I haven't used this in a while. Yeah, this is a pretty good bench system here. I've charterized this reel already. I call it charterizing. When I add a little extra long-term lube and some key components. I love these Shimano Dakotas for their high speed. Oh, I can't remember what the gear ratio is, but they're pretty quick. Oh, uh, 6.3 to 1. A lot faster than my Shimano Tritons. Alrighty. I know I don't have one of my super bright lights here, so... I know this is a nonsensical video, but... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to burn this braid. So... I got a nice tag in. I got a little braid cutter there that's a flame and I'm going to attach this braid black braid to black nylon with uh, I guess it's called a double uni knot in the heat of the summer I don't do a a whole lot of float rig fishing but go mono meets the braid so this is 30 pound Hercules go into 30 pound black nylon and I'm gonna spool this baby up and then I'm gonna rig it on some seven foot medium light Ugly stick tiger rods. Well, hopefully you're being able to see this rig here. 
Um, there's a lot of like little portable ones. I got a buddy with like a portable one uh, that you hold. I like this bench one. It's literally got like a reel with gears here. It's totally wore out. I've used this thing so much. And then it's got this arm. You can adjust everything back and forth. You can you can take mono off of a reel. You can put it on a big spool like this. Like this. There's some of my buddy's braid that I took off of his reel. I need to get rid of that. And uh, this is spring loaded so it keeps tension. And you can flip your your braid and I do that periodically on some larger reels when the braid starts getting kind of all wore out for the you know the couple hundred yards you can spool it on here take it off then turn it around and then re put it on it's a bit of a process but you know you buy I got quarter quarter pound spools and then I've got these larger spools of Hercules braid 30. I really like this stuff for what it costs. Seems to be very durable. It's only uh it's nothing fancy. It's the four strand the four strand it's not eight or twelve strands or anything like that but I can sit here and just put line on reels real easy and I can see I need to adjust need to adjust over a little bit because the line is not going on completely straight this one's all done I got the line packed on there good because what it does is it oh, gives a nice uh, tension on here all righty two reels completely spooled easy peasy if you got the right tools do it all in about 10 minutes and it's done nice and tight and it's done the way it should be as you can see over here this is a regular kind of like a reel with gears in it and it's got a uh, a ticking drag that is completely wore out and a reel handle and then that's what this looks like it has a brace that comes off you can tighten it up you can move the this handle back and forth and all you do is you loosen this it's got a real seat and uh, oh, it's gonna take me two hands to get the reel off but then this folds like that I've never done I guess maybe I have done a spinner on here I got it stuck in the vise on my workbench and it just sits there for years so easy peasy reeling and putting new line on a reel oh and then there's this other thing that i use i think i got this at bass pro or something when i was down in fort lauderdale this you can put big spools on for bigger reels i don't believe I don't believe it fits on a it'll kind of screw on a quarter pound spool like this but it's actually made for larger spools and uh, I put this in a drill motor with a spool spool on it a empty spool and you can just smoke off the line with a I do it with my rechargeable drill drill motor so it's nice to build up some tools and being able to swap lines and change it and turn line, turn braid around. So that's how I do it here at the Jetty Wolf Wolf Den. Come on.